We just got down from the bus and uh, all of us, me, my daughter, my wife, are looking for Sangrila Hotel, Sangrila Regency. Is it too chilly? Yeah. Okay, so you need a jacket. Yeah. Okay. Jacket from jacket fridge. Okay, you need a little thick jacket, no, Mama? Our hotel size continues and it seems another 700 meters from the point we have got down from the bus. But he is happy, saying hi to a dove here. And we all are happy coming out of the scorching heat of the plains, especially in the eastern part of India. The heat is too much along with high level of humidity. As you can see the traffic here, how they are managing. So this is how the traffic is being managed. Hey! You can see how the traffic is being managed here. It's, it's a very busy, busy place, you know. I read in the internet that there were a lot of tea planters, British tea planters, they settled here in probably mid 90s, if I'm not wrong. So, till date in Darjeeling, you can find those those trees you know age old trees more than 100 and 150 to 200 years old tea plants in many tea gardens the deepa is trying her best to pull out the luggage and my daughter is also trying her best to reach the hotel we are very very tired for sure because we left yesterday night and it was a very tiring uh, train journey in the heat but the moment we reached ngb i think uh, the weather changed although we had a tricky time in ngb uh, finding the shared taxi now it's a tricky time to find the hotel here as well so we hope we'll settle down very soon and i'll show you the Hotel, the narrow lanes, uphill lanes of Darjeeling. It's a busy, busy town here and it's quite up. And Deepa seems to be. <laughs> she is worried. <laughs> now we have to go up, up, and up. And Ria is excited. Here's Ria. And we all are happy. That's the most important part after coming out from the noisy, humid and scorching city of Calcutta. We came from Delhi a few weeks back to spend some time at hometown and we decided to, to come to Darjeeling, which is the queen of the hills. And it seems quite a fill task especially for the city people because we when we travel we go up like this in the cities you know how the terrain is and uh, the lifestyle it's also very different in the cities we don't have the privilege of healthy food healthy air to breathe and the resulting our health doesn't permit to do this kind of treks all the time. Oh, we went to the wrong way. Let's go. Kotota. Up, up.
चल 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 वी टूक द रॉन्ग वे लुक एट द डॉग रिलैक्सिंग So we are still searching our hotel. We hope the GPS will do justice, and we'll reach our hotel in few minutes' time. It shows around 300 meters from here, but sometimes in hills, GPS doesn't work properly, and she is struggling for sure. So we have finally reached Hotel Sang Villa Regency, uh, which is in just opposite the Bethany School in in Darjeeling, and uh, we didn't had uh, that much of difficulty as we expected that we would be able to find find it. Like we, it was easy to find it. That's what I meant. Uh, from from Darjeeling railway station, it's just around 10 to 12 minutes uphill walk. In case you have a car, you can directly reach. So this is basically the room here. I've got the 302 here. This is a small and cozy room, nice bed. I can show you the bed here, which is well decorated. And uh, my family is enjoying. They have a balcony here. <laughs> a small balcony and a good view from here as well. so the view seems to be okay room seems to be cozy and small and let me show you there is a desk here where you know you can you can work if you want for a while and this is the cozy toilet not bad i must say it's a neat and clean and cozy toilet here and uh, it's a budget hotel i must say within Two and a half thousand rupees, including your breakfast. It's not a bad deal, you know, for a night in Darjeeling. So, guys, we are just fresh enough and ready to go for a tour in the Darjeeling city. And uh, we seem to have some time here. Uh, as you can see here, this is the outside of the hotel. This is the balcony. You can see from here. we have some time and there's cloud around because this is the starting phase of monsoon and i can see a lot of people are also coming out it's a pleasant weather this time of the year the starting phase of the monsoon and darjeeling is a very busy busy town and uh, so you can expect a lot of people in the mall road so we'll be hopping the mall road just now and we'll try to cater the the world heritage site that is the himalayan toy train you know darjeeling himalayan toy train so you like this place mama darjeeling this is the first time you are coming here right mama riya can you see the cloud here Where is the cloud? Ooh. And can you see the sun? And can you tell me the color? Color? Which color? Yellow. Yellow. Yes. It looks little yellowish golden maybe, no right mama? Okay. So you like this place mama? Okay. crowded mama no you want to go to real room yeah why do you you don't like the outside i like the outside do and i don't know what i do okay how is it mama is it beautiful oh is it big
So Darjeeling is a very kind of busy hill station, you know. Mostly people from the eastern part of the country, they visit here. And it's a quite a well-known place for the international tourists as well. And these narrow lanes with a lot of cars and a lot of tourists is all about Darjeeling, you know. And the history associated with the city is quite remarkable. Uh, starting from the British years era, I mean, East India Company, the tree planters, they came here, they kind of, you know, um, started the tea garden, the process, tea processing system. So there are a lot to learn here and uh, we will try our best to find out some place where we can show you authentic Darjeeling. So hello everybody, we are at Gandhi Road, we just left the hotel and uh, namaste to all my subscribers. Uh, Darjeeling is quite a busy town here, you know, see there are very narrow roads everywhere so walking space is very little. As I can show you the town hall here and uh, it, this place also has a lot of history here. These old buildings always takes me back to the British era you know. The amazing piece of architecture I can see from here. It's something that we definitely love to see. This is absolutely amazing, you know, this architecture here. As you can, if, you can, if I can pan out the entire building here, it's been well maintained and uh, it's looking fantastic, you know, this place. This is the town hall. So it comes from all over India, all over India yeah. and it is, it's been procured by government of India. Government. Government of, so it's a special department they have, the art and culture? Yes, yes, yes. It comes under the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Okay. So, um, uh, so uh, I mean, what kind of response you get from people like... Uh, I mean, yeah, in people, like they love the products and mm. uh, nowadays like uh, people are moving towards the sustainability. Mm -hmm. So they love this kind of uh, handcrafted and uh, uh, those uh, made by the hands you know absolutely so it's authentic and authentic, yes. and people definitely uh, find out the effort that people put yes, yes. making out this kind of product uh, your name ma'am if you don't mind uh, my name is angel right angel right yes. okay so you live here yeah and I'm how many years you are you are uh, managing I've been this associated with the uh, tribes uh, india um, almost eight to nine years eight to nine years okay so do you get a lot of people from outside our country as well interested uh, yeah actually uh, we had uh, so many visitors from outside india mm -hmm. uh, but due to covid uh, they have stopped for a while but uh, we are hoping for the tourists uh, to come back to india sure sure thanks a lot and uh, can you suggest me which kind of items uh, uh, I mean, should I cover, uh, should I focus more like, uh, uh, I mean, uh, just to give me a little bit of uh, description about the items, the categories you have, like what kind of items you have? Uh, we have textile items and uh. we have uh, uh, gift and assortments, we have metal crafts and mm -hmm. we have pottery mm -hmm. and uh, um, also we have organic items right. and uh, we have uh, paintings, the tribal paintings. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you'll get basically we will get everything in under one roof. One roof, yes. yes. And what's your message for the people, uh, domestic and international people, when they come here? Uh, what's your message like? What you want to say to them? Uh, 
I just want to say them that, that uh, they should know more about uh, the Indian crafts and culture. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, but uh, maybe uh, majority of the people they don't know about our culture and our you know ethnic groups and tribal people. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, they can visit here and know more about it mm -hmm. and uh, know the story behind the product. You know. Yes. So yes. how it's made and who are uh, the makers of the product. Absolutely. And then we know the story behind every. Uh, there's a something. There's a story behind every product. Yes. Yes. So they can know more about it, and they can help uh, the people who have made these mm -hmm. by purchasing the items. Mm -hmm. So that uh, we are here for the development of the tribal people. Absolutely. So like this is a platform for for them because uh, they don't have a market. Mm -hmm. So we are here to help the tribal people get their products to the world. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank ma you so much. And uh, we hope all the best uh, through your shop. I mean, for this particular shop, I hope we hope that a lot of people visits, our international people visits, and uh, they focus on the the work that the tribal people put all together. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. So I can show you there are a lot of products here. I can I. If I can see this, this all are hand, mostly handmade. If you these are all yes, mostly, mostly handmade. Hand okay. So what about this this uh, brass items here? Is it from? These are, dokra, these are called dokra crafts. Dokra, right? I think I assume is from Chhattisgarh, right? Chhattisgarh. Yes. Yeah, been there and yes. uh, seen them making all this thing. Okay. So how, how like once you finish the stock, like how long it takes? to come like you have to order it or like it's there is a system yes uh, we uh, we tell our uh, uh, authorities higher authorities mm -hmm. about uh, for the reimburse uh, for the replenishment replenishment and then is. yes they uh, have just uh, from the RO they will uh, give us back right right so what kind of impact the COVID made for last two years? You were talking about COVID. I just wanted to emphasize about COVID. Like it, a yes. lot of people lost their, uh, I mean, earning. I mean, so what kind of impact? It has like impacted uh, in every field, not only ours, in not, not only like business mm -hmm. field, but in every uh, in every area. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, actually, most most of us like uh, in Darjeeling is a tourist place. Yes. So we hope and. Uh, uh, you know our living uh, is uh, basically out of tourist only mm -hmm. so it has covid has impacted a lot yes. in business doing yes. businesses yes absolutely and uh, we hope it recovers soon yes. still it's there a uh, lot of international people are still little scared to to visit yes. india yes. and we we hope that it goes away so uh, coming back to the products these are the brands item i think it's from chatisgarh right Chhattisgarh. if i'm not chatisgarh yes. chatisgarh okay and there are there are a lot of other items I can see this these items are also from like uh, they, they come from Gujarat and part of Rajasthan. Oh wow. Okay. So these are Gujarati people, like the people from Gujarat they they make all these things. These are all handmade by tribal people as by you the told. Tribal by the yes. tribal people. Okay. And these kind of products are locally procured, like tea and everything. You, yeah, you tea get it. Is from Darjeeling. Okay. These are original tea uh -huh. from Darjeeling. Right. Uh, so we have two varieties here. Uh -huh. uh, we have black tea and green tea. Okay. And uh, what about the clothes here? If you if you give me a little idea, like uh, this 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 is this is traditional clothes. If I am not not wrong, like the traditional. These are not traditional actually, but uh, these are like. Uh, you know waistcoat so waistcoat i saw it in himachal people yes. wear it right so it's they come from himachal himachal only uttarakhand. right uttarakhand yeah, yes. yeah, yeah i got it got it I, I. so uh, there are clothes here i mean yeah, lot of things are sarees, sarees yeah, also yeah and sarees. wow this is so beautiful the sarees this these are tant i think if you yes loomed L loomed no Okay, so these are these are from Bengal or uh, like no no uh, they are from Orissa. This is from oh, Bengal. Oh, this so is this is authentic Katha sari. Mm -hmm. Katha means uh, hand stitched. Right. So these are all the works uh, they have done. Mm. So if you if you see at the back, so there are stitches marks. Yes. And the threads are coming out. So this. Uh, indicates that these are hand stitched. Absolutely, absolutely. So, what kind of pri prices one can imagine if somebody wants to buy a sari like this, uh, handmade sari, like average price uh, starting? Have, uh, sari starting from 1400. Mm -hmm. uh, 
those are co cotton and cotton. Uh, okay. ranging to uh, even 14,000. 14,000 rupees. So it goes up 1400 to 14,000 now. Sarees if you are talking about this. Okay. Nice. But sometimes we offer discounts also. Right. What kind of discount people expect? Especially people from outside. They don't, I mean, lot. Many times they are not aware about, about the prices and all. Yes. So in generally, what kind of discounts do you give them? Like, we have uh, we have discounts on local products, uh, basically normally, uh, uh -huh. and uh, the discount offers like we only give it during the puja season. Puja season, special time, special like times, yes. festive Otherwise, time. Otherwise, we have this. Uh, Fixed price. Fixed price. So right now, this somebody wants to buy something. It's all fixed price, right? I mean, there's no. Yeah, no we have fixed price also, and uh, on some products, on selected items, we give uh, discounts as well. Okay. okay. So it differs. It differs. Yes. Uh, product to product, yes. it differs. Okay. So uh, if you can show me, there are there are a lot of decorative item as well i can see there are files and these are all handmade you told these me are all handmade all hand we have this cut and stitch lampshade wow this so looks these so are from good. bengal these are from bengal mm -hmm. can you give me the name of the village you were from there shantipur or maybe Shanti i don't shanti niketan oh right yeah. so bolpur uh, yeah. and these are made by the lepcha tribe local tribe local tribe Okay, so they they make it at home. I mean, this is like, or they have a factory or something. No, they Wha have this workshop. Workshop. They have a workshop here. Yeah. Right. This looks beautiful. It's all natural and organic. As I can show you, there are there are herbal product as well. So people, anybody interested for authentic organic products, you can buy. You can come here, and uh, it's quite an amazing shop. And I must thank to ma'am. She described very well. And you can shop online also. Okay. Uh, you can just visit www.tribesindia.com. Okay. And from there you can uh, shop online also. Sure, sure. Okay. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Thank you for coming in and uh, joining us today. Thank you. You are so lovely. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So thank you. Especially uh, they like this first plus tea. Okay, so so they come in March and they they procure their I mean they taste and whatever like tourism yeah, yeah. activities they do. They purchase lot of first plus tea. They are mm. mostly first plus. Okay, so this time you told this is second flush. So it's mostly the German Germany. I mean yeah. people from Germany they, used they prefer. To come, but they used to come. Now it's uh, <laughs> yeah yeah. Mm. It's same as for me my business as well. Like um, there is not many clients. I mean people are writing me and they are saying that they are hearing lot of things. Cases are not gone down, and and they don't want to take chances and all. So this thing is going on. I mean, yes. but we hope it it ends soon. Yes. <laughs> it's good for all of us. But I'm sure they are exporting the teas. Yeah, 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 they definitely. Are exporting. Oh. exporting is going on. Export uh, hasn't hampered. Mm -hmm. Export right. is going on. Okay, ma'am. Thank you again. I'm sure you must have uh, gained a lot of knowledge about the restaurant business in this this particular area. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of things have changed in terms of tastes of people? Like, you like, see, like uh, initially people used to get those authentic uh, herbs. Mm -hmm. You know, the kind of meat which you used to get, it used to be like piglets and things. Now everything has been commercialized. So, yeah. you know, it's very difficult to get those authentic mm -hmm. stuff around. Right. So whatever you get, it's more like commercial. So we struggle to get real steps. Absolutely. So, so you try to manage whatever is available. whatever is available in the market. Exactly. And all those products, what you procure, mm -hmm. mostly the the meat products and all. Or what do you think is mostly organic or is semi-organic? Like uh, I would say it's mostly like semi-organic. Semi-organic. Yeah, because like.